Oh, you can even see if they're working on your car. You can see it up here in the pits. Oh. That is actually sick. Look at that. Oh, yeah, they have like a whole section. I'm gonna buy this. 730. I'll get this at book off. They have initial D too. Look at all this. Oh, wow. This is like, this is paradise, man. Initial D paradise. All right, guys, what's up? So uh, me and Tim are here at the Super Auto Box. What's up? Hey, guys. I'll link him in the description, uh, so you can go check out his channel. Um, we were going to go to Daikoku today to film a video uh, on the Supercar Sunday. Unfortunately, they were closed. I guess we're doing construction. So in that case, we came here. They're actually having an event here, so we're going to check it out. Let's go. Yeah, this is sick. I think it's a demo car. It's a demo car. Nice. Really nice. That does look cool. Hyper Max. Trying to get parking. Anything with a fan base that hardcore is just up my head. That was the same one at uh, Daiko, like two days ago. It's just called a fit. Really what I think of car stuff, but it's like camping stuff. I think it's also a camping like thing. Yeah, they have camping stuff inside too, so yeah, this makes sense. It's kind of what this is. Hey, they have YouTube. This is cool. Thank you. Little stickers. <laughs> Sunscreen. All right. Let's go inside and check it out. Let's do it. This one's like one of the biggest ones. They have like Starbucks and everything in here. Yeah, bookstore, Starbucks. HKS is upstairs. Hey, Pim, you gotta check this out, man. I seen this yesterday. They don't have it open, or I guess they do have it open, you just gotta pay to do it. Oh, for the rig? Yeah. Oh, that's right, they had a whole rig in there. Yeah. That is really cool. I like their woofers. I like their speakers. Oh yeah, over there. But this rig, man, it's, it's, a, it's, nice. it's the it's one. It's got the hydraulic system. Yeah, it's got the hydraulic system. It's kind of hard to see, but like it's right there. But it's like for ten minutes, it's about ten dollars, and then about thirty bucks for about thirty minutes. That's not too bad. Thirty bucks for thirty minutes really. for a full rig. Stuff here is like all of the like F1. Like 24 hours of Le Mans, um, all of the, like the heritage racing. They call it like race culture stuff. 
Ferrari for kids. They have a lot of kid stuff. Oh, you can even see if they're working on your car. You can see it up here in the pits. That is actually sick. Look at that. Oh, yeah, they have like a whole section. I'm gonna buy this. 7.30. I'll get this at Boca. They have initial D too. Look at all this. Oh wow, look at the this paradise, man. Initial D paradise. I'm like my favorite section. GRE 6 magazines. Nice, nice, nice. If you ever get the chance to come to Japan, this is definitely the auto box you want to come to and check out. So many cool things here. Wouldn't be Japan without some uh, interesting artwork. You can buy artwork of the New Z and all these other cars. They do sell artwork of cars. Sylvia, Makoska, BRZ. So if you have a Tomoka collection, can they have Liberty Walk? Sick. so far it's pretty cool it's pretty you can even come over here and get some stickers for your favorite brand Hi. Nissan Z's over here I think this is the exact same one that I have oh nice yeah. I have it on my desk at work this is a really cool place all right, let's go check out upstairs. They have like the HKS stuff there. They have like, a lot of like uh, car washing stuff, which is like really common. Cool. They have like a magazine for every car. Like they even have like, this This is interesting to me right here. Like this, like the, what is this supposed to be? Like, is this like wine or something? Or? Yeah, it's a rosé. It's just VIP wine. So you can put it in your car, like your VIP car. Maybe, I guess, yeah. That's cool. Like from up here, you can actually see like how big this place is. Like, if I can get a good angle here. Headers, which I really want to get for the GR86. Yeah, that would be really cool. That'll make it sound really good. It's more. It's a really cool HKS patch, actually. I might pick this up, actually. Let me think about it. Some T-shirts. They also have more over here. Some cool HKS jackets, but it's already summertime, so. If it was winter time, I'd pick this up, but eh, not now. Titanium tipped exhaust. I really want to get something like this for the GR86, but I need to find one that's like a dual tip on each side, since I have the dual tip. I don't know if they make dual tips uh, 
HKS dual tip exhaust for the uh, for the GR86 yet. They have a single tip. They don't have a dual tip on each side. Hypermax coilovers look really good. Kind of want to get these to change the height of my car. Well, what's right behind me here is what's really cool. They have a short engine VR38 DETT. Yeah, this is what this is what is um, in the R35 GTR. Pretty sure. Very cool looking engine. Do not touch. Yep. You have H6 BRZ parts. Some of these don't match up with my car. I asked about it. But some of them do. So have a exhaust system and an entire with all the way. Yeah, it goes all the way to the engine here. This is a EJ20, so it's a super engine. Flat four. Into cooler on top. Yeah, this is the full kit you would buy, like if you wanted to make your WRX STI like a beast. I was thinking about buying this for the GR86, the silver one. Or maybe like something, cause right now it's just plastic, right? Right. So it's kind of what I want, why I wanted to buy like the um, silver one to kind of make it more premium. So yeah, maybe in the future I'll have to buy one. And they have this right here. This is really cool. So I can get a shot of this. Carbon power air cleaner. As well as this is actually what I wanted to buy. Um, but it doesn't match up with mine because this is the previous Gen 86. So it's kind of hard to capture that on camera because of the glass there. But yeah, wood stuff is really nice. So it's gritty. Handbrake lever. This is like all the 86 stuff, or a lot of it. These are actually, I kind of thought about buying these because these will match up with mine. The ones that came with my car are just the plastic black ones, but these are like the silver tipped, I think they're metal. Like aluminum or something. Police, they have um, some silencers you can get. Punching flange silencer. I've never seen this one before, actually. That's cool. I guess you put this inside behind like a uh, gasket or something. Well, I get some gauges. I've got plenty to choose from. This is really cool. Oh, well, it does it all. So some red seats, ride, however, however you pronounce it. Then they have their caro section. Really nice stuff. Bright flashing lights over here too. If you're gonna buy you a car, what would you buy? Like, what would be the, like your dream car to have? At this point, there's too many options, man. Yeah. Because when you're at the point where you can't afford any of them, you can basically choose whatever you want because it's not a real car anyway. So that makes it really a lot more harder. If I had like a price range, I guess we can narrow it down. But right. We'll get, we'll get there at one point. Like, what would be your dream Japanese car to have? I really like the S15. S15 is a beautiful yeah. car. Or the S13. Like S those Silvias are just like, even even when they're like stock, there's just something very 90s about them. Yeah. Yeah, like, 
you can make an S15 or a drift car or yeah. a track car. Like it doesn't you can matter. You just do whatever with it. Yeah. It has like it's such a good all around like thing. This is cool. It's like a yeah. It's like an office chair. They have two of them. Rid and Ricardo. I don't. You probably would overpay more than you would for like a really really nice. Like they're still like, they're comparable to the Secret Lab one. I think they're still like 700 bucks. It doesn't say how much it is on there. But it feels really premium. It's like a $200 discount, but it doesn't say how much it is. Uh, anything Brit is pretty expensive usually. Yeah. So is Ricardo, so I don't know. But this is like, it's a, pretty, it's a really cool gaming chair. Like it's really cool. It's literally just that bar chair on wheels. Some nice BBSs. I'm more of a raised wheels guy, but uh, yeah. What about that guy? Is there a drum? Oh, this is like a like what you put on the back of your like your Jeep or something. Oh, I it thought still, it was a rim. Yeah, it holds the tire and, rim, and wheel. This is my section right here. This is all TRD, Toms, GR, Sard. This is the Toyota section. You have to pay at least five hundred dollars on the accessories if you get the car. <laughs> Is these miniature engines? And then you can just put them in your car, in your house. Wait, what? You're just miniature. It's like little engines. models. Wait, they're probably are they working models? No, but I think you gotta build them. No, it's, it's just like show model. If why you're is like it so really, expensive though? Because they're like metal, they're like oh, cast metal. They're like cast metal. Is that like a plastic thing? That's cool. Nismo parts, Nismo like accessories. You gotta get into that skyline life, man. Maybe one day. Until then, it's all Toyota. Yeah, I think I really need to get a tow hook in my car. I am taking it to track, so it would make sense to have a tow hook. I have like a little pin, old rally. So you're talking about these seats? Yeah, these are so comfortable. They're like $2,000 a pop, but they're so premium. Like I actually sat in this one over here because I have like kind of wide frame. These bucket ones are less comfortable, but I guess they serve a purpose. Yeah, these are for like track. Yeah. So your ones that like are for. But those ones, those are cruising ones. Are yeah, like your everyday car chair would be like something like this, where you can actually yeah. recline it still. Street. You there. can use this as like a street this is like and a track good in between. But I yeah. think this is like this is like my favorite one. Yeah, this one doesn't really have much bolstering at the bottom here. I think this is also literally the cheapest one. It might be, yeah. I guess that has less function because those are literally like a literal bucket. Like for this one right here, this is actually really nice. Does this have the carbon back? Oh, it kind of does. Not the carbon, but there's a carbon over there actually. Oh, I see. That's probably why this one is cheaper. Yeah, this one has the carbon backing. That one does too. Really nice seats. Oh, this is sick. Actually, was this for... I wonder which car this is for, because if this is for the GR86, there was one that was like this for the GR86, but it's sold by Max Rito. What is it? It's a, um, like a steel oil filter. Okay. And it has like the little ribs on it that helps it to like dissipate heat better. Right. So, um, I talked to the guys at Max Rito's shop and I want to buy one, but they're not selling them quite yet. They're waiting a little bit, or I think they're like trying to get the production right. Right. But yeah, I'm gonna buy one for sure. It's a really nice. HKS Turbo, Turbo, GT3. So this is like a supercharger kit. That's how much it would cost for the 8.6 or BRZ. The Pro Kit, GT2. Another Turbo. Well, on Turbo Kit for the 8.6. Yo, they have this cool pillow. Check this out. It's like an intake pillow. 
That is the coolest that. thing. This is what I need, man, but apparently it's not the one for my car, but like carbon this is so sick. Yeah. Well, what makes it so expensive? Because it's carbon. It's like really lightweight. Like you can even see it like Yeah. yeah. It's really cool. You can look at the graphs. Like the temperatures apparently like really low. Keeps your temperatures low, yeah. And goes down to like 10. So this is like a battery clamp. Me and Pim were just talking like it's 100 cool. bucks. It's 100 bucks for a little battery clamp thing. Crazy expensive. And we we're just talking like that's just like a brand thing, right? Like it's just you know how they do things like if you're car hobbyists like we are that's then it is. you're gonna spend like they know you're gonna spend money I mean, just for like cool. little dress up items but what i could do what? i could buy this right here and black out my car entirely oh like you could just like black out the toyota logo yeah like it's still shiny now yeah it's the shiny one now but you can buy the logo and black it out it's kind of expensive to do that though like the one logo is like 100 bucks so you're like looking at two hundred dollars for for each one. Blitz handbrake lever. If only it was a different color, like if it had like carbon instead, that'd be really cool. I'd buy it for mine. Coolest steering wheels I've seen. At any like uh, cool. store. This is similar to the one I have. Actually, that I mean, is the one I have. The white one there for the chaser. The Bomber? Yeah, the drifting one. You just hang it. You get a one for the no, I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna leave my safety options in that one. <laughs> so I am taking yeah. the track. Oh, carbon fiber helmet, man. That's yeah. sick. I think I'm gonna buy this to pick the parking, but is this like, which one do you think I should get? The black or the gunmetal? Is the gunmetal. Just matte. Sure. I will go for black. black. The whole car is black. That's true. Like everything blue. on that car is black. Or I could go blue, maybe. Then you're gonna have to start doing blue things. Ah, uh, you're right. You've got the purple underglow. But you can change that to blue. Maybe. That's true. That's true. Blue would give it a little bit of a pop of color. Yeah. So this is what I'm gonna get. My raised valve caps to pay for the parking. Even though I don't have raised wheels, but one day. So. This will be fitting. Only like six bucks though. Not bad. Alright, so it's a really cool tour of this um Super Auto Box. We're gonna go. Yeah, cool score. Yeah. Really excited to put these on the car. Even though it's like something small, it's just <laughs> better than having rubber ones. Rubber ones just do not look good. So Pim and I are going to try to go get some cool shots of the car, put the GoPro on the car, maybe get some cool rolling shots. So we'll see how it goes. We're going to put the, uh, man it's so sunny out here. So sunny. We got good music though. Yeah. I think we can go up here. Yeah, we can go up these steps. A little Corvette. Oh, that's a cool Corvette. Let's check it out. Oh, it's a Corvette Stingray. It's so sick. Wow. Yeah. It's it's really rare to see something like this here in Japan. Well, yeah, it's like an import too. Yeah, I mean, this is becoming more common than you think, but it's still pretty rare to see something like this. Like in this, con in this condition too. Such good condition. It's a good place for the GoPro. It's gonna look cool. Tim is putting on the suction cup. I'm gonna put on these uh, raised valve caps. I'm just gonna take it off first. This is the old one. Here's the new one. It's got raised. So it's kind of hard to see on the camera. Right there. It's nice and metal. Put that bad boy on right there. Boom. That's a little upgrade. So what's up guys? We're finishing up filming. Um, Pim's over here. He's taking some uh, videos and uh, pictures of the car. So, um, 
we're next to uh, Tokyo Disneyland. Let's see over there. And uh, yeah, it's a beautiful day. Really nice out. We've got some crazy GoPro footage um, from the top of the car. So we'll put that in the video. And uh, definitely go check out Dem's YouTube as well. Um, 4 a.m. Laundry on YouTube and Twitch. He's got a Twitch as well. There he is. So definitely check him out. He's a really cool guy. Alright. Thanks for watching the video, guys. Smash that like button. Comment. Sub if you like it. And uh, check out these shots of this car. Thank you.